Have you ever worked with the Excel file in Power BI? Sometimes it gets complicated when you have the match headers like this. I have this report, monthly sales by region. In this, I have the year on the header as a match cell and below to that, I have one more header that's a two header basically. Two row header is by month. And then I have total of the year and the current year I have by month as well. So now I need to import this file into Power BI and then analyze the data. That's the requirement. So let's dig into that. Hi, I'm Adnan and welcome to my channel. In my channel, we discuss about the Power Platform like Power BI, Power Automate, Power Apps, Excel, All Tricks, and YouTube as well. If you're not a member of our channel, just hit the subscribe button to become a member of our channel. Now let's get started. So go into Power BI and then get data from Excel. I save this here, like 18 sales merge. So the data is in sheet one. So I'm selecting here and then it is even suggesting a table from the sheet one. That's a good thing, right? So we're just clicking on here to have a look at the data. Both of them look similar. Only the headings has gone away from here. Actually, that's a good thing. So good suggestion from Microsoft Power BI. I'm selecting this and I got all this required feature here. Selecting this table and then transform data. So there are a few things which you need to do in order to get the exact same expected result. So first of all, I'm just trying to duplicate this table to have a backup copy for that. Now I'm going to rename this monthly sales. And now the first thing you need to do is you have these two tables, right? I mean, these two rows. You need to go to transform and then transpose the table. If you do so, it will just convert all the tables from columns to row. So by doing that, I got all these values here. Now I have an option like fill down. So I'm right clicking here and there's an option like fill. I'm just clicking on fill down. So whatever the null values available here, if you just go one step away, let me zoom a bit. So right now, if you can see, there are null values here after 2020 and then here also is there. So once I did that, fill down, it will just fill the previous cell value to here. So it, it updated all the nulls to 2020 here and from here 2021. That's cool thing, right? So now this is the region I have and this is actually I need to give them a name. So now it's not required. Now the next thing is I just need to merge these two. So I'm selecting these two columns and then right click here, merge columns. So you need to give a separator. I'm just trying to give an hyphen between that and it's merge column for now. Okay. So it has created a merge column like 2020 year and then the month. That's cool, right? If you like this way, you can keep as it is. If you don't, then I'm just deleting this step and then I'm going to create one more column. That's my favorite is add columns from examples. So selecting these two columns and then I'm just adding here 2020, sorry not, Jan iPhone 2020. Entering this Power BI clearly understand what I actually need. So it has given all this month and year total here. So I'm renaming this as month year and click OK. A new column has been added here and then we can now delete I mean remove these two columns. We don't need it anymore. Right clicking here and then remove columns. So now we have these values but still it's not clear because the regions is on the top. Now again we need to go transform and 
transpose the table. By doing that, we got the headings at the bottom actually. In order to avoid this, so what we can do, we can just delete this step. And here we have the month year at the last right. So you can just click and drag and drop to the left of this table. So that first column we have the month and year here. And now do it again, transform and transpose. So now I have the first row as the region and then month and year, everything is here. Now we can click on this option and then click on use first row as headers. By doing that, all the rows will switch to the header, so region, and then I have all the month and year values here. So we have the totals, everything is here. Now we can rename if required, hyphen region is there. So I'm just removing the hyphen, so it's just only the region. Now, as you can look at the data, we have the month and year, everything here, but we don't need the totals here, right? So in order to remove the total, what we can do here is we go back to previous steps like before the transpose. Yeah, here it is. And then we just click on this one and text filter does not begins with the total. Yeah, I need to insert a new step. I'm just going to remove total, total, total. So whenever it comes to total, I don't need that. So I'm just letting total here and OK. Now you can see there is no total value here. I'm going now to the last step because there is an expression error of the transpose. So it's filtered row and transpose table. We have these values. and the promoted headers is also fine and the change type here we have an error so you can delete this step yes okay and then we can rename the columns if you have problem again you can just select all the columns here and you can also change the data type if not then you can just delete this step and then redo this step so clicking here, use first row as headers and then Power BI will do automatically what the actual data type of the columns here and renaming this step to region. Finally, we have these regions, month and year and as well as all the values available here. Now let's click on home. Before to that, I don't need this table, right? So you can just right click here and Enable load. I'm just disabling this now. And close and apply. By doing that, I'll just get the monthly sales table, not the first table. Okay, I have this now. Now I have all this in this one and clicking on the region and I can add all the values here. Now, even though if you don't like this way, you can also go back again to Power Query Editor Clicking on this one and before the transpose, if you want the value to be like this itself, you can basically. So I'm just copying this table again, right click here and duplicate monthly sales vertical and deleting all these steps here one by one just up to this step. So I have all this north, south, east and west and total and the region here. So I'm just clicking on here and then use first row as headers. So now I have, this is converted to month and year and these are the regions and this is a total. Basically I don't need the total here so I can delete that. I click remove and I can rename this region to transpect. So clicking on close and apply, see how far we can convert the data, transpose the data in Power Query Editor. It's just an awesome tool. The only thing is we need to 
know how far and how better we can use the available features in the Power Query Editor. Now I'm not going to use this table. So deleting this and expanding this one, as you can see, we have the fourth regions and this is the trans state. So selecting this column and then I can have north, south, east and west. And here I'm going to use the year and month alone. As you can see, this is the data available here. Now we can switch this to any kind of visuals we want. For an example, in the line chart. So this is for the year. Now, if you don't want to be year, it's just to be a date column. Without the hierarchy, click here and then translate. So deleting this now, the table. So now you have your analysis from Jan 2020 to the March 2021. What are the sales of the North, South, East and West region? It's good to convert this into a ribbon chart so that you can clearly understand how these things are going up and down here by each month. So this is how you can able to work with the merge headers of the Excel file into Power Query Editor in Power BI. If you like this video, just click on the big thumbs up button. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. But make sure you turn on the notification on your devices. If you're not yet a member of our channel, just hit the join button to know in detail about it. Share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any queries and feedback, just post it on the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.